Hello again. Welcome back to another exciting edition of How Do I Do This Anyways? Uh, today, what we're talking about are snap fits. Okay, so we want to make these little snap fits using the snap fit tool in Inventor. Now, I'm showing you this right now in my assembly view. It is possible to create them in the assembly view, but you have to keep going back and forth into each part. So, it is just easier to go ahead and do this in your standard test box. Okay, so the test box that you use in order to actually create the box and then export those individual parts. You remember when you export the top, the bottom of the pin, this thing doesn't move. Yeah, that box. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this in that box. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do, file, save as. Call it another one. Call it five. I don't know. Whatever. Which, whichever one you've got. So that creates a fresh copy. That way, if you mess this thing up, you can just abandon it and not worry about it. And it will not affect any of your other work. So what we're going to do first is we're going to set up some work planes to work off of. I only want to put a snap fit here on the far side. Okay. So... I want to put a little block in here for it to match into. And in order to do that, I just need to be on a mid plane here. So I'm going to set up my mid plane and I'm going to do mid plane between two planes. And so I'm going to select on this side, rotate the thing around, select on that side. Now I've got my mid plane right in through here. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to hide that because it's bothering me. Didn't hide enough. Either way. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to create my bottom part of it because that's the more complex part, the little arm that goes up and catches into the top. So to do that, I need to hide the top. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to turn the visibility off on it. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to start a 2D sketch and I'm going to start it on this surface that is the top surface of the bottom of the box. Okay. Now you need to go ahead and project your geometry of the edges of the box where you want your thing to be, where you want the little clasp. So I just go ahead and project the geometry of all four sides of the inside of the box. Now I'm going to grab my point tool. And I'm going to just drop a single point right there on this edge of the inside of the box and at the center point. Okay. And that's literally all I'm doing in that sketch. I'm giving it a point of geometry to set the part that I want to make. So now I need to come up here in my 3D model tab, come to the far side of where this little arrow is up here. And I want to go ahead and select plastic part because this tool is specifically for plastic parts. So now I've got this little thing that just popped up right here. These are for only plastic parts. I want to select this nice little snap fit tool. Now there's a couple of flavors of snap fits you can do. You can do this little whole thing where it pops a little hole or you can do the little one that has a little part that protrudes out that grabs into a hole. I prefer this one. Both of them will work. They both use the same method of working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and find on point, and I'm going to select that point. And now I want it to be a beam shape that. There we go. Now you see how it's popping up this preview? but the preview looks a little weird. That's because it's upside down. Click that button and that makes it right side up. But now when I look at it, it's kind of bleeding through the front and also the edge is turned sideways. What we need to do is we now need to click this center button and then in order to rotate it, we want to rotate around this X plane right here. So we want to find this little green arrow that's right there and click on that. Okay, and that rotates it. You'll have to move it around a couple of times in order to actually get it. Now, if you look at this snap fit tool, 
it has all of these dimensions that are available for you. Um, what you want to do is you just want to set it up so that way it'll work the best for you. Beam, there's all the hook dimensions. So if you want to adjust how the beam looks, you're going to adjust that this box right here. If you want to adjust where the hook is, you want to adjust that. Okay. So I'm going to just say that it's okay with the way it's at, the way it is for right now. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click like that to bring it back to the front. And now I'm going to turn my visibility back on on my top. And what you're going to see is that I can't see anything now. So I need to create a section view in order to work with this because I need a half section view that is on that work plane. So when you click on that, it gives you a preview of what it's going to look like. That's the plane I need to be working in because I need to be able to see where my snap fit is as well as the piece it's going to snap into. So I'm going to click OK because that's what I want. Now. The first thing I'm noticing is if I was going to be actually making this, this thing is sticking too far into the surface. So I'm going to want to come over here in my browser and right click snap fit one and say edit feature. Okay. I want to edit that hook so that way it is smaller. Now looking at this thing, I want to edit that dimension so that way it's not protruding out as far. I'm going to go ahead and say like 0.5 millimeters. That's not enough. 0.7 millimeters. Perfect. It's about halfway in. Cool. Now I'm going to click OK and it changed the snap fit. Now what I need to do is I need to create a little dent here for this to sit in. Okay. So the easiest way I found to do that is to literally come up here to my sketch tab and select start a 2D sketch. Come to your work plane and start a 2D sketch on the work plane. Now it auto zooms down to the origin. So you're going to have to drag it back up and then you're going to have to zoom it on back in. And now you need to project your geometry of this thing. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my project geometry tool. And I'm just going to select these line segments of the hook of my, um, snap fit. All right, so now I've got that shape. Now, I don't want to extrude that shape. I need this little divot that's going to be made to be slightly larger than that. So that way it'll make sure that it definitely fits. So I'm going to grab my offset tool and I'm going to click that line and I'm just going to drag it in a little bit. Eh. Just a scotch. Point one millimeters probably more than enough. Now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click my extend tool because I need to make sure that there's a close shape. So first off, I need my line. I have to put a line from the top down to the bottom. Okay. And now I actually have to close the shape. So I'm going to go ahead and use my extend tool to extend that on over. So now I should be able to extrude that shape. So I'm going to hit E as the hot key for extrude. And it's actually giving me the option. Come on. There we go. I got that as well as I got that. Now I want this to be a cut. Okay, and I want to make sure that I am cutting. I'm going to clear out this solid and I'm going to select the solid of the top to make sure that it's cutting out of the top and not just cutting out of the snap fit. Okay, I want to leave the snap fit alone. I want that to be a symmetric cut and I only want it to be a little bit larger than my snap fit is. So I'm just going to reduce that down to like four millimeters maybe good enough. Okay. You can make it as precise as you want. And now I'm going to click OK. And now I've got this nice little cutout here. So this is a section view that you would want to show to show that your snap fit is A there and B will actually fit. 
Okay, so that is how you quickly make a snap fit. And when you want to return to your um, normal view, go ahead and click normal view. And you're going to click there and say delete section view. And now it is all back to normal. But we can go ahead and get that section view back anytime we feel like it just by coming up and looking at that and seeing it. So uh, hopefully this helped you out. If you have any questions, please let me know. Take care.